good morning guys it is well actually good evening here but um we woke up late today it's day three and uh we're just looking for some food right now we've been exhausted from day four day four day four we've just been exhausted from all the walking we've done so uh i had my alarm set for six i woke up and then just passed right back out again and then woke up and it's six hours later. Let's see if he has more tricks up his Upstairs? Oh. Hey guys, so we just finished having, having a lunch here and uh, this is what I had, I guess, right down there, the one that's 10.50. It was absolutely delicious. But now uh, we are on our way to. Um, where are we going now? Turkish ice cream. Oh, yes. So there is. Okay, it's not Japanese, I guess, but it's. Uh, it's this gummy ice cream that I showed in the previous uh, shot there. And um, it looks so good, so we're gonna have that for dessert. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I almost got it. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, let me give this a shot. All right, so it's like a. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah, it's like a gummy. It's like having a. Um, it's like having gum. <laughs> but it's not. It's not like gummy, gummy. But it has the the uh, texture of like first chewing into gum almost. Then it gets soft right after. But it's good. It's really good. Okay, so we are on our way to Odaiba. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, just got onto this transit, which is pretty awesome. We have front row seats. <laughs> Think might be like a gaming mall. A Joy Palace. <laughs> Can you escape the goal? The goal. The goal. Okay, already seeing that this place has a ton of games and rides, like indoor rides. There's uh, there's like this swinging, spinning thing over here. <laughs> okay, so we're, oh, we, right here, we have no clue what we're doing here, but um, apparently you have to like spin yourself on this machine and it looks really intense. Those are the machines over there. You guys can see it. There was so much more involved in the uh, Joy Police. I don't know, they were calling it Joy Police. I read it as Joy Palace. I don't know, whatever was that gaming center in that mall within Odaiba was incredible. 
Um, no, note to self, do not go on all the spinning rides and roller coasters and all that that's within that building until you've done everything else. Because Eric and I got extremely nauseous and just really hot and we didn't even get to go on the third floor. There was three levels to that place. We did the first floor which was a little bit low key. We also did this one spaceship sledding thing which spun you in circles and was absolutely crazy and a lot of fun. A lot of the games required team effort. Like you and whoever your partner is needed to accomplish some type of mission within the game or roller coaster or whatever it is. There was it was always a team effort and um, problem solving and all that, which was an awesome aspect to all the rides rather than just, you know, swinging through something. Even the spinning thing that I showed you earlier where it was just like, you kind of went like this, back and forth, back and forth. Both of us were on it and we had to match our footsteps right in order to spin faster. And the faster you spun, the more points you get and you actually compete with the other people um, next to you. And um, so that was fun. We, I think we got second place, even though we were terrible. We were actually that whole set of us there that went onto that ride. But we were just, we just were off. And then the Transformer one. So we did all those rides. We did a roller coaster. Um, we did the sledding, spinning spaceship thing. Everything had to do with spinning. And the last thing that we did was the Transformers one that you saw in my video there. That ball and you just go in circles and that was it. That was, that was our final straw when <laughs> we couldn't, we sat everything else out after we, we went, we sat down, got a drink and tried to eat something. We just, we were just felt super nauseous and didn't want to, I felt like there was all these like people here that were able to do all this stuff. And here we are just like on the table dying, but there was a third floor. There was, um, I, I can't recall since it's been a while now. There was another floor, but there's a lot of like, um, there, there's a lot of games that we couldn't really play as well because uh, the translation, it was all in Japanese, so we couldn't really fall like, uh, like escape the room type of thing. It was all in Japanese, so we couldn't really, you know, can't, we don't understand what they're saying, so we can't play it. One of the things I, I, I was being a cheapo. And so, you know, so used to the Thailand prices compared to that. And it was just, I know, I should have done it. It was an extra $30 or something, 30 or 40 US dollars. And it was uh, a virtual reality room with zombies in it. Um, basically, you you're in an empty room filled with like 10 other people or something. And you guys all have the VR helmets on. And uh, when the game starts, zombies will pop up in the room. You have to like go around and uh, there's some sensors or something, I don't know, so you can see other players. And um, you just go around killing zombies that randomly appear and try attacking you, which I think would have been so awesome if I actually did it. But it was $40 to enter. 30 40 dollars i forget so i think it was 40 dollars to enter the uh mall game center um and then another 40 dollars to play that game so it would have been 80 dollars total if it was just 40 dollars to get into that and like it was you were able to uh get into the whole gaming center for free i would have done it but 80 dollars to do something like that i i don't know but yeah This is uh, one of the places that I wanted to go to. It's where uh, that giant crosswalk where everyone, like hundreds and hundreds of people just cross all at one time. And uh, I walked into it without even knowing I was walking in it. Absolutely crazy. And uh, we met back up with our friend uh, here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need, I need, I'm gonna need one of them. I need, I need something to, to wake me up right now. Uh, I just don't want to die. I want to go out tonight. Like, I want to go have fun. Friday. Yeah, exactly. So I need I need some like matcha right now. There's plenty of places to go out here too. Oh no, my battery's almost dead. I didn't charge it. This sucks. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to uh, Alice in uh, Wonderland themed restaurant. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> Oh, well then. 
Oh, too chill. I need something. I need something more crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Allison one another didn't work out for us. So we're going to jail next week. So. <laughs> and uh, all right. <laughs> It's like a, yeah, I mean, I didn't realize that jail was a... Uh... The lock up warning. <laughs> so, um, apparently I should be able to read this. Good luck. <laughs> the lock up warning. Blah, 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 blah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Seriously, just a bunch of gibberish to us and then just like, uh, you know, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> okay. I guess I shall be the first to enter. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is that, apparently, this is not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we got that. That music doesn't mix there. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no reservation. Three? Three? Hi. Okay. <laughs> we sit, sit here? Oh, yeah? Okay. Wasn't We weren't expecting um, this to be jail. Uh, it's like more like a horror scene, as you can hear on the screaming. Slash. Okay, what does this say? A chase. A chase will charge. Not separated counting. You guys all have cash? Yeah. Yeah. No, no photo or video. No oh. more video? No photo or video. As you guys saw towards the end of the night, we actually met up with Cassie again. Started exploring a little bit more of uh, of Tokyo. We actually went to that Shibuya Square, I think that's what it's called. You know that giant intersection where you see in like movies in like Tokyo Drift where the cars like slide through and everyone has like split? Um, that's, I actually really wanted to go there because I'm a big fan of the, uh, the uh, Fast and Furious series, so it had to be there. It was, uh, it was really interesting. As soon as the lights went, everyone starts crossing and it's just like a... I don't know, everyone just weaves through each other like no problem, but a novice like me kind of just like crashes into everyone. But yeah, guys, so that's that. So until next time, guys, follow your passion and stay committed.